so we're going to do a flip classroom exercise today. It's going to be a, about databases, uh, specifically the SQLite database, which is very popular in the Android ecosystem. Um, SQLite is a library database that's linked into your application's address space. So it's not a multi-user database, but it, it is a multi-threaded database and it does allow you to store your application structured data and then query it in very various different ways, uh, which we'll see today in the context of looking at uh, restaurants. So when we uh, run our uh, Flip Classroom exercise, we get this screen, which has a bunch of spinners. These spinners are drop-down menus, and they all start out in a sort of uninitialized state where they're asking you a question, what city are you interested in, how many results are you interested in, do you care about the price? And if so, uh, do you want, sorry, do you want to um, list your listings by price? And if so, uh, ascending or descending. So if we leave everything unchecked and hit go, we get this long list of restaurants. So this list of restaurants comes from a database that we provide for you. It's got a whole bunch of, of restaurants from, from different areas. and. When it comes to doing this flip classroom, there's sort of two different parts of the flip classroom. There's the more database stuff, which is like, if I want to specify a city, how do I make sure that, that, that you know, I'm only getting results from that city? And then there's the, how do you hook up the SQLite database to the rest of the Android app part? And that's a little bit more about like a list adapter. And, um, and that uh, I would, I would uh, suggest that you start with that because getting things hooked up is going to allow you to see the results of your query. And that's a little bit more sort of standard Android uh, practices. And then uh, you can work on the database stuff. So that's why I'm saying, you know, you, you do have to do a query uh, in order to get uh, even this uh, first screen. Um, so you, you do need some database functionality, but it can be a very simple query with most of the fields uh, provided as null. Uh, and then you get this long list. Uh, once you get that, probably the first thing to start on is the limit because the limit's really easy to implement and it's very conceptually simple. So you're just saying, just give me 10 results. And now you can see our long list. You can see by the scroll bar here is much shorter. Um, and then, uh, you know, and then we can sort of go to town if we want to um, sort by descending order of price. And here you can see the price is represented by a number of dollar signs and zero dollar signs is a valid price category uh, up to four dollar signs and Uchiko uh, tops the list. And if we say, hey, we're not so interested, we're only interested in Boston uh, restaurants, so we'll get uh, Boston restaurants, we're only interested in Austin restaurants. We saw a bunch of Austin restaurants before. Um, you know, I only care about uh, burgers in Dallas. <laughs> That's just who I am. Uh, you know, that's, that's what we get. And, and I'm only getting 10 results here. And, you know, I can instead do, do it by um, ascending price. And so, um, yeah, in this case, we have a $0 price burger option in Dallas, followed by a $1. So that is the, that's pretty much the, the sum of the, of the database functionality. And again, I think um, if you, you know, here, if you look at the, um, The layout is very simple. And, uh, so, um, you know, we have a uh, linear layout, we have some nested linear layouts with these spinners and a drop down menu, the go button. Um, and then, uh, you know, we have another spinner, we have this checkbox, blah, blah, blah. And then we have a list view. And um, we are using a list view. I know they're deprecated, uh, but they are well integrated with the database. Um, and I, um, adding a recycler view here is on my to-do list. Let's just say that. Um, the one thing I, I do want to uh, just show you is um, if we, so, so, so I'm not quite in the right uh, area, but to my uh, 
So this is uh, going to look a, a bunch like uh, the code we give you. And uh, if I say, hey, uh, is there anything, are there any files in here that end in .db? Uh, the answer is yes. In fact, there's this restaurants.db file in your assets directory, which is the database file we're interested in. And uh, there are different database browsers. Um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm just going to uh, kill my emulator, which is uh, CPU heavy. Um, so there, there are a bunch of uh, database browsers, so, uh, SQLite database browsers. Um, the one that I'm most familiar with and, and enjoy is the command line SQLite 3. And in that case, uh, uh, we can um, connect to the, to the database and just print some information about it. So if you do dot schema, and I write about this in the, uh, in the write-up, it will actually show you the exact tables, what are the column names in the tables, what are the primary keys, what are the foreign keys, what do I do on, on a delete? So this is good information to just uh, wrap your head around uh, the data structure in, in the uh, database, especially if you don't have a lot of database experience. Understanding uh, what a foreign key is, is is important. We talked about that last time. It's sort of like a, a pointer back to a different table. So we here have a, a table of businesses that have things like the address of the business. And then we also have these uh, categories. And of course, the categories can refer to uh, a business. And then when we read that stuff, we sort of uh, read the cat for a given business. We're going to read the, the, cat the categories table to figure out what categories are appropriate for that business. And there's a, a bunch of other stuff. Um, you know, if you if you type help, there's uh, many things. There's uh, dot dump, uh, which will um, write out the entire state of the database in, in SQL form. The restaurants database is quite large, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, if I, uh, you know, um, you know, the, you can dump it and, and it'll only dump a limited number of records, but my uh, um, uh, SQLite 3 chops are, are, are not uh, up to date enough to be able to do that. Um, So, but yeah, you can you can you can see all of the um, commands in SQLite three start with a dot. So anyway, that is just a way for you to to take a look at what the database that we're giving you looks like, and then uh, the code is actually how you uh, interact with it. And in particular, the first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be making a query, and queries give you back a cursor adapter. And we've talked about adapters a lot. In this class, most of the time, the adapter is adapting between a list and the display. And now we're actually adapting between sort of a list that's being generated dynamically by the database. That's what the cursor is. A cursor is sort of like a pointer into the database. So we ask the database, hey, give us the records that sort of fit this criteria. The database says, sure, here's our cursor, which is sort of like a proxy for the list. And then the cursor adapter hooks that cursor up to a list view, which allows us to scroll through the list. And as we're scrolling through the list, it might ask the database under the covers, hey, I need more records. Uh, let, me, let me see those records. So the other uh, thing I just wanted to mention as far as the actual application, when you take a look at the list of uh, restaurants, um, if you click on the website, it actually takes you to the website. So we're just setting up an implicit intent here. It's something we've seen before in this class, but you know, it's a, it's a slow loading website. Um, and if you, if you click on the phone number, you know, it takes you to the dialing app. This is just an easy way to get uh, more advanced functionality into your apps um, without you having to do much work. Uh, you just set these things up to be opened up in, in other applications. So just a little bit of, of polish for your app, maybe when you're thinking about your project. So in, with, with that, I hope uh, that you enjoy doing this flip classroom.